folks in the house. How's everybody doing on this Saturday? Kind of got up a little early today, got my laundry out of the way, and did my taxes. And uh, I get a kick out of the state tax form is larger than the federal. I kind of would think it would be the opposite. Um, I just feel one thing with the taxes. I think it's just, I don't know. I, it doesn't just me. I think you should get something from the, the government saying this is what we know you owe or this is how much we owe you. And then if you want to dispute it or then you go fill out the forms. I, I don't know. I just feel like there's something there that they know how much you have or ha got or whatever or what they owe you. And um, I, I just think it's something that could maybe save some time or effort on for some people. I know there's people that, that they're doing every deduction in the world. And then my other uh, scenario is I think you should get a credit or uh, some kind of deduction for um, if you're able to do your taxes on your own. I feel that's, you know, you've accomplished something. So, you know, what the heck? I mean, for what the credits and stuff they have out there, why not have something that if you're able to do your taxes, you should be able to get a little reward for it. Just me talking out loud. Um, so while I was doing that as I was finishing up uh, the Jim Beam uh, coffee. So I had that this morning and uh, enjoyed. It was nice uh, putting things together and uh, sipping on that while it's cold out uh, for March 18th. I was like, wow. I went outside. Uh, for, it just, it, it works. That's for sure. Um, something to share is for grocery shopping is you're looking for something kind of quick or not sure what to get. Came across this uh, called Curly's Pulled Pork. About a, It's a pound of uh, pulled pork. Um, my mom enjoyed this. I got it from my parents and she was, she was saying she loved it. And I had it. I was okay with it. I didn't give it. It's like, oh, you got to go get this. But it is something that... Uh, change something up or, you know, want to try something different, I recommend it. It's a little, I, to me, it seemed like it was a little on the sweet side. It says naturally hickory smoked, um, but it kind of had a sweet flavor to me. Uh, it is gluten-free, so uh, something to throw out for people that are looking for something gluten-free. Um, so that is my uh, shopping, I guess, tip, uh, the way it was, uh, Five ninety nine, not on sale for the grocery store. I had it, and it was four ninety nine. So that's the reason why it was on sale. I saved a buck, pound of uh, pulled pork for four ninety nine. Gave me leftovers for a couple days. Uh, one day I put it, I made sandwiches, and the other uh, had some soft tacos, <laughs> pulled pork, and it, it worked out. It was good. Um, something again. Uh, I never heard of this, and all of a sudden I looked and. I was like, why not? Let's try it. Uh, give it something different. Um, Sports-wise, UWM, they're in a losing streak on baseball. They're 7-9, and nine, so hopefully they can turn things around. Um, first home game, I think, is this Tuesday against Concordia Mequon. Um, it's going to be, I think, in the 40s, so <laughs> not the best uh, baseball weather. And then uh, UWM basketball, they're playing in the CBI tournament and playing Stetson tomorrow at 4.30. Um, so they get to, you know, hopefully get a little a little national tension. Uh, you know, one of these off tournaments besides March Madness. Um, and the movies I have, uh, have a mini series and then two movies from the 70s. Um, First one is the miniseries Impact 2009. Uh, I think it's out of Canada. And there's a lot of movies with Impact. So just to let you know, it's 2009 um, miniseries, a meteor coming towards Earth. And uh, if I remember right, the first uh, part is more or less destruction going on throughout the world. And then the second part kind of has more story to it. So... That is uh, for Impact. Uh, it's worth the watch. Uh, special effects in that. Uh, I almost 
where they don't go over the top. They're there, um, but uh, they did all right for a, a miniseries television movie. Uh, next one, uh, I'm just going to go with it's called Mitchell, 1975. This would be on the lines of uh, movies like Shaft and Superfly. Uh, detective fighting uh, drugs uh, at that time. And uh, I never saw this movie. I never even knew it was out there. Uh, Joe Don Baker from Walking Tall is in it. So um, it got a 2.7. I mean, I, I don't know if I'd give it that low. So again, you, if you know those movies, that genre, um, it fits in. Um, so I can't, I don't know if I'd give it a 2.7. You have to be... You have to be around for television back then to understand it now. With uh, all that's out there now, you'd pr you'd walk away probably from it. But that's that. And then my last one, uh, the organization. This would be part of the uh, Virgil Tibbs, uh, which was in the heat of the night. Uh, there were three movies that were uh, made off the character. Uh, and this one was the third of the three. And all three are good. Um, so there's In the Heat of the Night, then there's They Call Me Mr. Tibbs, and then there's um, The Organization. And so um, if you're looking for a cop movie, uh, get In the Heat of the Night, that, if I remember, it won an Academy Award or was nominated. Uh, so, But uh, all three are decent for a trilogy. Um, and then the other week, I think I maybe mentioned it, is I watched all three uh the first three Jason Bournes uh, movies, which I enjoyed. Uh, the fourth one, I mean, not so much. So those are the movies, and I hope I have uh, enjoy everybody that watches my videos. I appreciate that, the subscribers. I have a small cast of people, and um, I just put these out there, you know, for the heck of it, for something to do. And then I got uh, doing the natural light today. I don't have the trying to get lighting in so it's the natural I just wish there was a little more lighting in my uh, apartment here but uh, that's the way it is and uh, have a great one everybody and uh, enjoy <laughs>